So how big will my Holland Lab get full grown? And how small will it be when I bring it home as a baby? These are questions that I am frequently asked and it's also a viewer requested video. So let's get started comparing bunny sizes. This is an eight ounce teacup. And the reason I'm showing you this is I have seen Holland Lops advertised as teacup sized bunnies. This may be true when they are three to four weeks of age, but that is way too young for them to be going home and leaving their moms. And after that, they don't really fit in a teacup very well. He is a three week old broken orange Holland Lop and he fits in a teacup pretty nicely. And then this is how big he looks in my hands. Adorable little thing, but way too young to be going to his new home yet. This is a seven week old Holland Lop. As you can see, clearly way too big for a teacup. And this is how he looks in my hands. He did not like sitting still. He's so rambunctious at this age. So that's seven weeks old. Here is an eight week old Holland Lap bunny. Generally, you don't want to take your bunny home any younger than eight weeks old. And in some states, it's actually illegal to sell a bunny younger than eight weeks. But regardless of that, you want to make sure that the bunny has been weaned from its mom and is doing well on its own, eating, uh, no diarrhea, before you add the added stressor of moving it to a new environment. If you wean and move it to a new environment all at the same time, the bunny easily could become so stressed that it turns into a life-threatening illness if their system goes out of balance. So eight weeks is a general rule of thumb, but sometimes it's better to wait until they're, you know, nine, 10, 11, or even 12 weeks old. But definitely, regardless of age, make sure the bunny has been weaned and is doing well before you take it home. Here's a young senior Holland Lock Buck. Now senior simply means that he's at least six months of age and he's actually six and a half months so he's still pretty young. He's just under three pounds right now. Now he is a true dwarf Holland Lop which means he has one copy of the dwarf gene. And other than size, you usually can tell by the shorter, rounder, wider ears and the head shape, the overall curvature of the skull the width of the brow and they don't have the pointy muzzle that the false dwarfs will have. Luna is a young senior Holland Lap. She's nine months old. She is a false dwarf which means she has no copy of the dwarf gene. You might notice her longer ears, her pointier muzzle area, and she is already over four pounds at nine months. She has had her first litter. She'll probably be between five and five and a half pounds instead of a three to four pound range. So slightly heavier than a true dwarf Holland. Doesn't mean anything for a pet owner. You just wouldn't be able to show your false dwarf Holland in a rabbit show once it hits four pounds. They're still really sweet and really adorable. Camilla is a senior doe who is just over a year old and that is her adorable three week old baby. So cute. And that's how big a three week old looks in my hand. That's Timmy. He just turned two years old a few days ago. Two-year-old Holland Lap Buck. He's a little guy, right around three pounds. And last but not least is two-year-old Anna, senior doe, and her little baby, two-week-old little frosty baby. So tiny, still so dependent on mom. Anna is one of my favorites. She's just under four pounds, true dwarf. That's a broken blue torque color in case you were wondering. So hopefully seeing the size comparisons has been helpful to you. If you have any questions for me, feel free to ask and I will try to help. Thank you for watching.